to map a function that doesn't exist in this palette, you have to choose menu to button reassignment. And then for our last shortcut, I'll click the button at the bottom of the tool palette and then go to the hamburger menu and choose audio, data, waveform. And then a WA for waveform shows up down there. And so you can see now we pretty much have a Avid interface that resembles our Final Cut interface. And we have our handy little toolbar for turning on waveforms or uh, audio keyframing right here. And just like over in Final Cut Pro, this tool palette has our trimming tools like Roll and Ripple. All right. So even if you don't map a custom toolbar over here to the side like we did for this faux Final Cut uh, interface. Uh, the, the trimming tools over here, the red overwrite trim and yellow ripple trim, which I put over here like your roll and your ripple edits, uh, you can edit in Avid now just like you do in Final Cut Pro. So I can choose the tool that I want and say grab uh, an edit point. Uh, now one nice feature in Avid is that if I need to select other edit points, I can do so in the track selection panel more easily than trying to click each of these one at a time, uh, which again you can do. Uh, then I can drag and up in the composer window you can see the left monitor is showing me the out point that I'm trimming while the right monitor is not moving at all, that's the in point of the next clip. Uh, if I want to click over here to switch to edit the in point of the incoming clip, again, it's the monitor to the right that updates. All right, so again, this is just like in Final Cut Pro, where I might grab something with, say, the ripple tool, and then as I'm dragging, I get a two-up display, only where Final Cut forces the two-up display to occupy the upper right corner, the canvas. In Avid, your two-up display is your entire composer window. New to Avid, you can you know, select your slip or slide trim with a shortcut menu. But essentially when I choose the outgoing roller, that's represented up here in the left of this four frame display. So I get the out point of the clip to the left, the in and the out point of three underscore four, that's the clip that I'm sliding, and then I get another reference frame, the in point to the right. And in Final Cut we get the feedback of the two outer frames, but we don't get to compare the shots to the two inner frames. We also don't get to do this, which is play in real time. And that's where I want that shot to end. And all the tools, JKL, nudging one frame forward or back, the composer window in Avid has turned into a trimming tool not unlike the trim edit window in Final Cut Pro, which again gives you the A and B side, very easily selectable, gives you a way to play a play loop, or even trim your outgoing and incoming edits in real time, just like in Avid. So if you ever use the trim edit window in Final Cut Pro, you're going to be kind of used to what happens in Avid in trim mode. Only the trim mode window, the composer window, works for all types of edits.